Hi everyone, it's Paul Bergeron reporting for AvWeb, and we'll start this video by listening. Give it a go, David. Atomic Airfield Automated Advisory Wind Com Altimeter 3039 for runway. Listen for traffic. What you've just heard is what's called micro tower technology. It's from uh, David Wartoski's company called Potomac Aviation Technology. And the best way to think of it is artificial intelligence combining uh, AWOS type weather sensors with uh, traffic information, with automated uh, traffic advisories. We're going to take a look at this system. We'll start with looking at the hardware on the ground, then we'll come back into the cockpit and listen to how it works. So this, this particular unit at Potomac is a, uh, the original pre-production prototype. It's about 12 years old. Uh, and it is the uh, system we use to design and to develop and enhance the software. The system basically is to air traffic services what an ATM is to banking. It's a rapidly deployable, easily assembled solution that solves most of the needs that allows services literally on any street corner. Uh, current production equipment is 100% solar linked by global satellite and so they literally can install anywhere in the world. They're in palace heliports in the Middle East, they're in the jungle in the Congo, and they're all across rural America. There are about 100 systems in the United States so far. The system is designed to provide the full level of services that any pilot could want while also being easily installed, deployed, and maintained by any airport anywhere, any airport or heliport anywhere on Earth. system installs in the morning. There's no frequency allocation, doesn't require power, no electrical permits, doesn't require any sighting analysis. You literally stick in the ground like a windsock pole. It's actually easier than a windsock pole. Two people who have never seen one can have it installed and fully functioning in about half a day. Uh, when they turn it on, it does a series of self-diagnostics in simple, intuitive human terms. We did one uh, demo in India where the system actually uh, instructed the installers that they had forgotten to connect a radio antenna so we can detect it and we can provide those kinds of instructions. So the whole system is designed to require basically no foreknowledge either by the installers, by the airport, or by the pilots and simply to be intuitively obvious and easy to use. It's a nice, simple, easily deployed, easily installed system that sidesteps carefully around all of the regulatory impediments. It shares the airport's existing uh, common traffic advisory frequency. It's an artificial intelligence that uh, applies judgments, an expert system. So it calls crosswinds, wind shear, uh, calls specific runways, greets inbound pilots, does radio checks, the whole nine yards. And it does so um, as an artificial intelligence would do. The system will, when a pilot is coming in, it will uh, listen to patterns on the frequency and actually greet the pilot, informing them of the system's presence and how to use it. And then pilots typically activate it with clicks. Three clicks brings up an advisory. Four clicks, oops, I did two. Three clicks brings up an advisory. And then four br clicks brings up a radio check. Automated advisory, wind zero four zero at six, altimeter three zero three seven, for runway pilot's discretion. For example, right now it's not calling visibility because the visibility is 10 miles or better, so there's no point in tying up a CTAF to tell everyone what's already obvious. It also won't call dew point or temperature unless they're close and they're relevant to flight operations. So the AI is the system that is interpreting its external information and it's applying expert knowledge of traffic patterns, flight operations, runways, everything relevant to that particular airport or heliport. So inspired by taking off IFR when there was no, before we had this technology, there was no way to know absolutely that your uh, radios were working. So you sort of take off into the shmoo and pray that, uh, that uh, departure could pick you up. And I was going to be going up the eastern seaboard IFR on a Friday night and uh, they could pick up my carrier but no voice. So I said, I don't want to do, so I ended up, it was, it was a small crisis, so I thought, okay, how do we eliminate that? And so one of the first things is a radio check, two-way radio check. So you activate the four clicks. Transmit radio check. One, two, one, check, com one. Two, one, check, com one. Power, diner, does ten. Good power on that. Transmit radio check. One, two, one, check, com two. One, check, com two. Power 10 to 10. Okay, so it's telling me I've got a good strong signal from both transmitters and I've got voice modulation. You know, everything's working. The, heads, the headset's all the way to the transmitter and all the way coming back. Before you take off, obviously, you want to find out what the surface conditions are like. So, three brings it up. Three clicks. Atomic airfield automated advisory. Wind 070 at 6. Altimeter 3042. Conditions favor runway 06. Pilot discretion. Okay, so it's making the judgment that there's no traffic floating around, so it's easy enough for to call a runway. 
So it'll actually call a runway, even that sort of subtle. Hey, what line. if there were traffic? The, there are different thresholds of when it will call and when it will punt based on traffic and vector analysis of the runway. So we, there's a lot of subtlety to it. And you can find out more about the micro tower technology at potomac-aviation.com. For AdWeb, I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting. Thanks for watching.